Welcome back everyone to my Endless Space 2 Let's Play playing as the Riftborn on Endless Difficulty. Now this video is the first video that's going to be using the new patch that has come out recently. It's version 0.3.4 of the third update. So what it is, is basically a bug fixing patch or hot fix really as I mentioned in the outro of the last video. There was one feature change though. And that is just adding some rather nice pictures to the laws, which didn't used to have them. That one still doesn't actually, but that is a quest for the Riftborn, so that's probably why it doesn't. But all of these do now, so they all look rather pretty. And apart from that, I have a huge amount of things to discuss, because I've learned a heck of a lot more about the game. And, uh, well, I've been learning all through this Let's Play, but since the last time I recorded, I've actually had a couple of uh, test games to try out different things. I played a bit with the Horatio and also the Sophons uh, with update 3 so I've definitely learned a few things which I'll be discussing throughout the course of this video and probably future videos as well. It's quite a long list I've got and written down so I'll try and get to each and everything as we come across a decent opportunity to discuss them. Uh, since the end of last video I've actually done a bit of movement as well. I had a few scouts so I've sent one up there there's one which is on guard in this system. There's a settler coming in there, and that one's gonna go over there, and then probably over there, there's an expedition that I would like to do. I have a compression singularity I can use, so there isn't really a particularly definite spot I want to use it on, actually. I guess I'll use it on Viagras. Yeah, next place population after Lyra and Yin. I'm actually going to sell some of my resources before I end the turn. So there's a ton of eating incense. You can see down there as well, I'm earning 67.2 per turn. So I might as well make some money off this. Just sell a lot I'm going to. So if we come in here, click on that, we can see the price. It's actually not as much as it uh, mentions here. This is the buy-in price. So. But that's a lot for a level 1 luxury, I believe. So I'm going to add all of that and sell that. 6.7k, that will come in handy. And I am actually going to make a tech change. This tech is definitely very useful, extra research. And the ability to colonize ice is definitely a couple of plants that I can do that on. But yeah, I think I will actually go for the culture flip technology instead. Ooh, hang on a second. That's a bit longer than I expected it to be. So seven turns. Right, forget that. I <laughs> uh, had a look to see how much it was. So I get that first and I may get that then. Right, so let's end the turn anyway. So the invasion of the United Empire is going on, of course. I've got four full fleets heading off towards their systems. Bringing a scout up actually gave me vision on them. The fleet there. I'm expecting a capital to be there based on influence. What I'm really hoping now is that the United Empire don't have the ability to culture flip. It's going to make things like a lot harder. So we're back to the Cold War against the Sophons, which shouldn't be an issue. I doubt they're going to be wanting to declare war on me, but you never know. They have the old fleet down here. The Lumaris' influence definitely is a worry, though. They've already flipped that Smyrna planet off me so uh, yeah could be an issue let's do the automated movement then this turn okay well there's a decent Terran f oh not Terran United Empire fleet there and very decent fleets by there actually by the looks of it okay so what have I got to move I've got well both my fleets up there are they both in Hannah's or they come out to Hannah. I think they come out to Hannah. They've got more than I was expecting, to be honest. 585, uh, mainly beam and shield side. That one is similar. So I think there's a lot of combats coming up here, actually. So which is my best fleet? 16, 60. I've forgotten what my leaders have got, actually. So I should have checked that before starting to record. Right, so let's attack with that one then. Okay. So, let's come into the advanced settings. I should probably discuss a bit about combat, which I haven't really yet. 
Now all of my fleets, I believe, are using these short weapons. Now the most important decision here i found is to match the cards with the short range, especially when, yeah, well look at my long and medium range, it's both zero. I think I literally only fire at short range, so if I were to pick a card which is maybe on the face of things better because of the effect, uh, it wouldn't be better because I wouldn't be able to shoot half the time. So that's a support ship, but uh, and gives me extra movement. I think, yeah, I'm gonna stick that there. This one's definitely tempting because it's got two short ranges, but the problem with it is, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, the mid. You know what? I could try it though, can I? Uh, let's. Where is my hero too? Does he have short as well? Yes, he does. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick, let's try to support, sh no, I'm going to just keep one in the middle, and I've got a feeling this might be a bad idea, but let let's try it out, let's put two there, one there, right, I'm going to use that formation, so I'm expecting them to wreck that what's ever there, that will wreck what's ever there and I'll lose that ship but hopefully well uh, it will go well in general I don't think I've used this yet have I so I might as well use it once but it's kind of an important battle so maybe I shouldn't be using it now right so got three ships there three there and yeah they got the best battleship there which is a bit of a pain that's one I probably wanted to take out most so let's click on this Go to the O. Right, see those there? That's the ranges they're at now. So I think the ranges can change actually, even though on the cards it denotes yeah, just one range. How are we doing anyway? anyway? That's been wiped out. Now hopefully that can fire over here, but I'm not sure. Something's firing across maybe. I've lost that. Yeah, I'm not even sure this fleet's firing at all. That's the problem with short, just having a ton of short range. They're attacking them. If these have better range than me, I'd actually wipe those out. And I've been forgetting to do this, so let's actually come in here. You can see the advanced bit. So I did 9.4k, they did 7.1. You can see... Oh, that does show missed shots. Yeah, so I lost that ship there, but these two did rather well. I think I took a bit of damage to the Wraith. What did this ship... Oh, I actually had one left. Oh, it was the hero, so the hero comes back at the end. If the fleet exists still. Uh, yeah, so they had long and medium. I could probably do if getting some longer ranges in my fleets because just having short is causing me issues at the moment. I'm not really sure how well I, that did then, to be honest. What I could do is just have uh, the mid center one was short and stick my whole fleet in there, but then I'd lose the bonuses and they would have bonuses against me. So it's a really difficult decision. I'm not really sure what's the best thing to do at the moment. Right, that's done anyway. With my other fleet, let's attack. I think on this one, we'll try just having short. Let's pick that. And for some reason here, I can't do that one anyway. The third fleet, so I'm not sure why. I thought we had... We got nine, actually. I think one of them must be coming up. That's uh, what's going on. Right, let's come in here then. Let's do the turtle option. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to try everything there. So I'm going to lose a morale penalty, and they may even have two, so they're going to get extra bonuses against me, but whatever's in the center will get absolutely wrecked. And hopefully I won't lose too much here. Let's keep on watching fights. Yeah, I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, so they've split into three. They've had ten command points. 
if it was two, it wouldn't be such of an issue, but this could be if iffy. Alright, let's watch this this time rather than do the ho overhead. Okay. Yeah, so he's getting that bonus. It always shows that bonus, so I'm not sure if it's times two that bonus. That should get wrecked with less than the bonus, so. That's something I haven't tested out, so uh, I won't be doing that again I'll, against yeah, uh, more numerous opponent. I'll definitely be using at least two flotillas, if not three. So, I lost a Wraith, which i got to replace definitely, and some Phantoms. Okay, so I don't believe I can attack the system yet. I might, would have lost some manpower and I've lost ships. I lost seven ships there, I think. Okay, so they definitely need replacing. What's left to move then? Right, just those are moved. Uh, there's this fleet here, which was getting manpower. Should be able to come over to here. Hopefully attack as well. Let's come over there. Okay, let's... Oh, has it not got here yet? Must be one movement short of it. Right, we'll stay there and I'll attack that next turn. There's... Yeah, no more movement I can do then. Left, right, so what I'm going to do now is take a minute out to stick some more ships in my build list, I think. Okay, so here is the system management screen this turn. I actually bought some more Decidious to allow me to make another system development this turn. And I actually bought some Hyperium as well. It turns out it's not going to be so easy to actually replace these Phantoms and these Wraith ships because I really lack Hyperium. They actually cost me a huge amount in Hyperium. 10 for the Phantom because of these energy weapons and 25, I believe it is, for the Wraith. So that's a lot of Hyperium. If I'm going to be wanting to make a lot of those, I'm going to be basically needing a lot more. I'm only getting 15 per turn, which, yeah, it's, that's enough for one phantom and a half. So that's really not going to work out. So i got to do something about this. What I'm actually going to do is research a different weapon type. I'm going to research a weapon type that won't actually need any resources. And I believe, well, the weapon type that I'm going to go after is actually the missile type. Now, I believe this does the most damage, but I think the... Uh, flak based weapons actually work against them if I can find an example here somewhere see there it says anti -mis missile efficiency so that is one downside to the missiles but uh, one really good thing about them as well is their range they're very good at long and medium so there's two different options so they will complement my short guns pretty well and in fact they're yeah, going to be a lot more useful in most circumstances they probably won't do as much damage, but having said that, a lot of times my short weapons never come into range, they can't fire. So they probably will do more damage. going to take me a few turns to get that, which is a bit of an issue. But I think I bought uh, about 21 Hyperion, which allowed me to make one Wraith and two Phantoms uh, in that area. So sadly it's going to take a while, which delays this war a bit, which obviously isn't good. But there's not much I can do about that. I've uh, moved around quite a few population as well, and I've actually changed my strategy a bit when it comes to minor races. So what I was doing before is just moving uh, 
trying to get every system pretty much having one population of each type I don't think that really is going to work because you're never going to get the maximum collection bonus for each and every type there just isn't enough planets or systems so what I'm going to be doing now is focusing much more on the races that I believe are the, have the best bonuses and also not just the collection bonuses what I think really matters is the ideology so in the case of the Riftborn that we yeah, that's our ideology. But I really like the science laws. I'm definitely going to be trying to conquer a lot of people. So the militaristic laws or ideology on the, these says could come into effect as well. To be honest, I don't think you need it as much with the militarist ideology. But with the science, I will if I want to be able to pass science laws. In fact, there's a science law at the moment which I'd really like. That's the automatic science law. If I had that, I could research an error ahead. And I actually really desperately need the volcanic lava tech because, well, look how many planets I still can't colonize around my systems. They're mainly lavas. So that's been a real problem this whole game. One other way around it as well is by getting the automatic ecologist law, the first law of them. But to get that, I'd probably have to go a dictatorship and then vote them in, which I could do at some point. And maybe I should have done it before if I'd have. Uh, Re realize the way around the issue, but I don't know what we'll do. Probably not, I'm guessing, but you never know. I uh, would ne need to research about three or so techs in this era and then be able to research there. One thing which I did consider is maybe trying to terraform the lava plants, but I don't believe you can terraform them until you've colonized them, which is a bit strange, but yeah, that is how it works. Uh, at least in my test games, it did. So, other than that, I think I'm pretty much done for the turn. Uh, yeah, let's end the turn now. Hope I don't forget something. So, we get that in a couple of turns, and I'll redesign all my ships, and we should be able to get a decent amount of ships out then all of a sudden. I mean, I've got four fleets, it's not like I don't have a lot, but I must admit the Terrans, or the United Empire, fleet was a lot bigger than I was expecting. There's no easy way to tell how big a navy armadas they have. Yeah, so with my population, my what I'm basically doing now... Oh, they're already trying to get a piece. Ugh. I'm going to more than likely turn that down. I can take a bit of a happiness hit. Yeah, so my populations, I'm mainly moving them around now to get the bonuses. For instance, the United Empire. If we click on, have a look at them. They got on temperate worlds, so I'm moving these around to wherever there happen to be temperate worlds. But out of the races that I do really like, of the miners, well, and majors actually, yeah, the Sophons are probably my favourite because I want to get more science, ideology, and they have excellent bonuses. So I'm more than happy to have one of those in each of my planets. United Empire have exactly the same ideology as my starting empire. And not massively, well, yeah, the bonus the collection bonuses aren't that good, but I might move, keep them around a bit. Uh, yeah, it's just the Sophons, really, who I really like. The Mavros aren't too bad. They have very similar ideology to my own as well. But, uh, yeah, that's how that situation is. Anyway, uh, the Cravers are once again threatening us by the looks of things. Let's have a look in here. Okay, that's the amount I'm going to give him, it's just in the blue. Hopefully this will keep him off my back. I don't believe it said he was at war with anyone, so he's definitely looking to go to war, isn't he? Actually, let's uh, get out of that second. Just check again. Yeah, he's not at war. Not a good situation. Okay, so let's do the combat first of all. It looks like one of them retreated out of there. Let's do this big combat. Uh, actually, before I do that, let's attack with the scout. Before I forget this, I won't watch this. This has... It's actually an old design, so I use a different card. I'll use uh, that one. Okay. And they were wiped out. Excellent. He had nowhere to retreat to. So, with this big combat, let's attack and go to advanced. Okay, how many? 
man points has he got? That's three, four, five, six, ten. Right, so it actually says. So you can have three flotillas. I'm going to go with the turtle option. Stick that there. I don't think I have any long range. Let's have that. Um, you know what? Let's try three there. I'll lose that ship for definite. I'm hoping that they will come into range at some point on that flotilla and be enough to take it out. That will wreck that. That's what I believe will hope will happen. I definitely need some new cards and I definitely need some new weapons. Right, he put the main part of the fleet there, so that's probably good for me actually, and that's more than that. So if it, that ever does come to short range, I'll have a good chance against it. Okay, let's go into overview. Right, let's have a uh, look at this. Then. I'm gonna come down here and see how this flotilla does. Right, scan. some stage these do actually come into range at least, but I'm not sure they do because the thin said medium didn't it? So you can see the limitations are, here we go, now they finally came into range. So it does change, but it uh, takes a while. So that's probably the second combat phase that was. They've all been wiped out. I lost that ship over there. The middle one may come into range. Uh, let's click on that. Okay. Yeah, firing at my wraiths. They have better, longer range. Should they are doing some damage to that? I don't even think they're in range. So they're not firing at them. Speed up. Hope I don't go losing. So there's all sorts of intricacies with the flotilla combat system that uh, aren't immediately apparent and I'm still learning, but I think I'm starting to get a grasp of things, certainly. So that, I think I did a good job then, actually, with my placement. Very good job. Certainly better than uh, what I've done recently. So that's excellent. Done. Right, uh, let's, I think, oh, now I've got tiny bit more combat to do this turn. So let's... Uh, there's a damage wraith there. I'm tempted to take that out with the fleet, you know. Let's move that one to there. It's 10. Take that out. Let's stick those in. And I'll attack with that fleet. I can't upgrade or repair it because it's not my system. So let's go on there. And I think he had five command points. So that is only enough to go in the center, I believe. So I'm just going to leave one outside to get the bonus. Uh, do I only have nine? Oh, yeah, I didn't put ten in, did I? It was fine. Could have put. Maybe should have put 10 in actually, even with a damaged ship because they probably, well, actually, they are medium range, but they would have fired on there first, I think. Right, let's uh, do the combat. They didn't retreat. Oh, and I made a mistake. They uh, do actually have enough for the second one, so maybe. Should have put more than one ship in there. So I'm going to lose that one ship on the left hand side almost definitely. The medium fleet should come into range, at least for one combat round, though, I think, on that fleet, but it's uh, not definite. I'm getting an Anon of uh, this bit as well, if free move. Actually, 
fire on it. That's so much damage getting there. That's probably getting wrecked. Static level for the Empire is very important. Let's do the automated mover. So scouts moving up to place. That one's still there. Well, that's done its job now, so I'll bring that one down there. And that can come down there. Get that expedition. So, what's left to move? Oh, my main fleet over there arrived. in terms of men, I need two fleets full. Well, I've got 270, it's not bad. I don't have armor yet. Let's come down here then, hopefully find their capital. Uh, yeah, that is the capital. So even if I were to take that, if, yeah, I don't know, they, if they have culture flip, it could cause a ton of issues. they got more, yeah, more ships there, that's a definite issue. Oh, I haven't actually arrived in the system yet. We found uh, their home. So this turn I bought some more Decidious, I bought some more Hyperium, 5 Hyperium, which allowed me to make another two Phantoms, there's one behind that Wraith, and I think there's behind that, or must be that one, yeah, I've put uh, System Development, so yeah, that is the build list, I guess, for this turn, and I've moved tons of population around, you can see all these little freighters moving everywhere, that's the current state of the population, Narlene's got... Eight Navros. Oh, I actually took one off there. Oh, that's interesting. It didn't update. Oh, wrong one. Uh, that's Narlene. Yeah, so I should probably move one off here since this uh, capped out. I'll take a uh, one of those off and I'll move that to eat. So I think there's a coal planet there. Okay, so yeah, and I think that's it for the turn. Next turn. that is your universe, willing to do anything to save our own. <laughs>